this record that caught him almost 10 years ago. It was the first record that um, we recorded kind of the way we wanted it. We recorded it backwards. We recorded all the songs, all the parts that we had written on the keyboards and on the guitars and all the vocals, and then we added everybody else at the end. It was our anti establishment record. And in a, a very rewarding twist of fate, it ended up being a fan favorite, which was very exciting. Because even though it wasn't like, a commercially successful record, we started to see our audience grow. And throughout the record cycle, we went from seeing maybe 200 people in a city like St. Louis to 1,000 people. And word kept spreading, and it made us feel very excited because I think we were both feeling a bit, we were feeling a bit worn down from the road. And all of a sudden, we'd get on stage after a very long day, and we'd feel really tired, and people would be singing along, and it was the first time ever that that was happening. It was so cool. Now everyone reminds us that they just wish we would make another record like the con, but why would we make another one? This one still exists. <laughs> Who wants to be the con 2.0? Not me. So when I sing these songs, I sing them as if they just came out yesterday. Do you want to sing this song? Is it just too hard? Thank you guys.